I'm expecting some nicer comments today after the Power 5 goes 4-1 and one on Monday. Now a 111-85-5 and five overall run on the show after that strong start to the week. Nice bounce back here on Tuesday. It's all about the Champions League, yes, soccer, and the Major League Baseball playoffs. Go ahead, smash that like button when you're in agreement with any of these selections. Lots of early stuff. To get to, starting at 12.45 Eastern, Stuttgart versus Sparta Prague. Over three and a half goals. Stuttgart is the betting favorite here, around minus 250 on the three-way line. But they're bad defensively. Conceded a goal in all five matches in the Bundesliga this season while allowing 1.55 XG per 90. Reminder, XG means expected goals. In their first Champions League match, Stuttgart lost 3-1 to Real Madrid. Now, it's obviously a big drop in class in terms of the opponent here, uh, which Stuttgart will welcome as they are also averaging 2.3 XG themselves per 90 this season. At the same time, last year in the Europa League, Europe's second biggest competition, the Champions League, of course, number one, we saw Sparta really struggle defensively when stepping up in competition. They conceded a total of 15 goals to Liverpool and Galatasaray across four matches. But they also scored three themselves in this year's Champions League opener against Salzburg. So there should be no shortage of goals in this match. Guys, get this. In Stuttgart's eight competitive matches this season, there have been a total of 37 goals scored. That is a lot. So over three and a half Stuttgart, Sparta, Prague. Number two, moving to the 3 p.m. slate of fixtures in the Champions League. I like Arsenal, minus 140 on the three-way line against PSG. It's pretty much the marquee matchup of the week in the Champions League. Looking at the Wage Talk Live odds screen, Arsenal has taken some money, and for good reason. They're at home and haven't lost a competitive match this season. Going back to the draw against Man City a couple weeks ago, the Gunners have scored a total of 11 goals their last three matches. Now, it was goalkeeper David Raya who that was the hero in the Champions League opener with Atalanta that ended in a nil-nil draw. Meanwhile, PSG, who of course faces weaker domestic competition in Ligue 1, uh, they were very fortunate to escape with a 1-0 win in their UCL opener against Girona. They're dealing with some key injuries as well heading into Tuesday. Away form hasn't been all that great for PSG, so I like Arsenal to win here. One goal may be enough. Number three, one more Champions League play for you on Tuesday. Then I'll get to the MLB playoffs. Borussia Dortmund, Celtic, both teams to score. Yes. Yes. This prop is around minus 165. A lot of juice to swallow, but worth it in my opinion, even though Celtic has, concede, has yet to concede a single goal this season in the Scottish Premier League. But a much bigger step up in class here. And Dortmund has been playing almost nothing but high-scoring matches in the Bundesliga this season. In fact, each of their last three matches in Germany have seen a total of six goals scored. They scored three times themselves in their Champions League opener against Club Bruges. But defensively, Dortmund not that sound. Similar to last season when they conceded an average of 1.53 XG per match. This season, they've conceded 9.3 XG in six matches, so a very similar pace. Considering Celtic has scored a whopping 33 goals in nine matches this season, they're going to get on the score sheet too. So both teams to score, yes, is the play here. All right, I knew you lived through three soccer plays, so let's talk some Major League Baseball playoffs. For four wild card game ones on Tuesday, what an exciting doubleheader we had yesterday between the Braves and Mets. I'll be getting to the Mets and Brewers in just a little bit, but first... I like the Royals, plus 135 on the money line against the Orioles. This is a 408 Eastern start. If Baltimore is to drop a game in this series, I think it's this one. Corbin Burns, not as dominant as you might think. Yes, he comes to the postseason with a 2.92 ERA, but down the stretch, Burns faltered a little bit. 4.04 ERA his last 10 starts, 8.4 strikeouts per nine innings. That was Burns' fewest. Since he was a rookie, the number of home runs he's allowing, way up. He has a FIP of 3.55. Most importantly, perhaps, though, the Orioles are just 5-5 five and five in those last 10 starts by Burns. Meanwhile, Kansas City is starting Cole Reagans. He's the guy I like the most in their rotation. 2.87 ERA on the road. 2.99 FIP overall. Not to mention, Reagans is number one in the American League in strikeouts per nine innings with 10.4. 
And one of the Royals' bigger weaknesses this season, their bullpen, got a lot better over the last 30 days. 2.68 ERA from their relievers. Meanwhile, Baltimore's bullpen, they posted the second worst ERA over the last 30 days. 5.34. Thus, I'm going to chase the plus price in this Game 1 matchup. Yes, the Royals limped into the playoffs, but Baltimore's been sub-500 since July 1st, guys. Play number five, Mets-Brewers under 7.5. I do think the Mets are a little bit live to pull the upset in this series, but you do have to worry about the fact they had to play two games yesterday while the Brewers were off with nothing to play for. The Mets did rest some key guys in that second game, including Francisco Lindor. But let's point out of the 18 innings they played the Mets yesterday, they scored a run in only two of them. And those were, of course, the wild final two innings of the first game. Other than that, it was all zeros by their lineup. Milwaukee, elite bullpen, and Freddie Peralta starting game one. Peralta, 200 strikeouts during the regular season. The Brewers are also an elite defensive team, so maybe the Mets aren't that live of a dog here. But their ability to steal game one likely rests on the arm of Luis Severino, who was pretty good down the stretch with three earned runs or fewer allowed in six of his last eight starts. I got a little lucky with the over yesterday in game one. Time to play the under here with the Mets and Brewers. Okay, let us now recap the Power 5. Stuttgart versus Sparta Prague over three and a half goals. Number two, Arsenal minus 140 on the three-way line against PSG. Number three, Dortmund Celtic, both teams to score, yes. Number four, Kansas City Royals plus 135 on the money line against the Orioles. Number five, Mets Brewers under seven and a half. Go ahead and comment down below with any thoughts and or questions on those picks. Don't forget us to let us know what your favorite bets are for Tuesday, whether it's in the Champions League or the MLB playoffs. Now, being that it is Tuesday, that means best bets are available for only $5 at wagertalk.com. I'll be releasing my first football for play uh, of the week later today and yes you can get it for only five dollars just head on over to my page wt.buzz slash bp disappointing loss last night with the seahawks for yours truly but still eight and two with nfl sides this season and 64 percent overall with all nfl and college football plays this season one last bit of housekeeping make sure you're subscribed to the wedge talk youtube channels i've not only got you covered with the power five daily but every monday through friday it is myself and Mark Zinno doing the morning wager. And that does it for the Tuesday edition of the Power 5. Smash that like button if you already haven't done so. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.